On May 10, Jenny attended the Calvin Klein pop-up store in Seen Seoul, where she opened a pop-up shop for her new collection. Many celebrities attended the event. Nearly 400 guests from all over the world flew to Seoul to attend the Jenny for CK event ranging from celebrities, models, social media influencers, friends, colleagues and others. The Jenny capsule collection for Calvin Klein is available at selected Calvin Klein stores and on the CalvinKlein.us website globally. Prices range from $25 to $150. When it launched, in just one second, Jenny's capsule collection was the fastest selling out Calvin Klein collection on the official Calvin Klein US website. The website also had a crash. Even though it was restocked, the collection was again sold out. Collections of body suits, crop tops, tank tops and joggers quickly sold out. It's amazing, fans of the Calvin Klein X Jenny collection are really amazing. Even though the availability stock had been replenished, it still sold out very quickly, so many fans asked Calvin Klein to add more stock. This really proves how influential Jenny is as an influencer in the fashion world. Not only this once, even several products from other brands also sold out very quickly when Jenny became their influencer. This means that many people want to wear or have the same things as Jenny. With this Jenny set a new record by becoming the fastest selling in history with her new collaboration with CK for her own collection. Jenny surpassing the Beatles Paul McCartney to a sellout in one second, Paul McCartney did it in seven seconds. Calvin Klein is also the number one top brand in South Korea and number three in the world. In other news, on May 11, YG Entertainment announced the official position to Newsin, saying, Jenny will attend the Cannes Film Festival on the 22nd of May. Cannes Film Festival is one of the most prestigious and highly anticipated film events in the world of cinema. Every year, this festival is an event for filmmakers, celebrities and well-known figures to introduce their works to a global audience. The 76th Cannes International Film Festival will be held in Cannes, a resort city in southern France, from the 16th to the 27th. Jenny appeared in the American HBO drama series, The Idol, directed by Sam Levinson. The Idol was invited to the non-competition section of this year's Cannes Film Festival. Besides Jenny, top global artists such as The Weeknd, Lily Rose Depp, and Troy Sivan appear in this work, which explores all the relationships surrounding rising pop idols and the story of the world of the music industry. With Jenny's presence at this festival, the exposure and attention to the film The Idol will increase significantly. Jenny's presence at the Cannes Film Festival shows recognition of her talent and dedication in the world of acting. Apart from being a successful member of Blackpink as a singer and dancer, Jenny also showed great skills as an actress in The Idol. Not only Jenny, Jenny's friend Jessica Young's sister, Crystal FX, will also participate in the Cannes Film Festival. They were both nicknamed Ice or Savage Queen because of their beautiful faces but sometimes cold. Fans are also looking forward to the moments of interaction between the two Korean talent. What do you think? On the other hand, Lelisa Minoban will also attend her first fan meeting with True ID with the theme, What is Lisa's True ID? Which took place on May 26, one day before their Bangkok Encore concert. The fan meeting is planned to take place at True Icon Hall, Iconsium, Bangkok, Thailand. Strengthening its position as a world-class entertainment provider, True ID makes the world premiere of Lisa Manabal as the new world-class superstar brand ambassador. They announced this inauguration during the Born Pink Bangkok concert on January 7, 2023. This decision strengthens True ID's leadership as a world-class entertainment content platform developed with the concept of the next world-class smart entertainment.